Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Producers are spotting some foliar disease in wheat fields across Oklahoma. And for perspective and advice, we're joined by Bob Hunger, our extension wheat pathologist. And Bob, you've been traveling around Oklahoma, talking with producers. What are you seeing and also hearing? Well, actually, for the, the last three or four weeks now, uh, diseases have become more prevalent, particularly stripe rust uh, has become more prevalent uh, in southwestern Oklahoma. Across western, as you move up further to the north, it's spotty, but there's hot pockets of it uh, through central Oklahoma and uh, south central Oklahoma. Around here in Stillwater, we've seen some, but uh, uh, again, it's kind of spotty around here, but especially southwest has, has been hit pretty hard with stripe rust already. Well, let's kind of take a look at what typical stripe rust looks like and what else you're seeing in your, your research plot here in Stillwater. Okay. Well, s stripe rust, uh, as you know, uh, there's two different rusts that can come into Oklahoma, stripe rust and leaf rust. And stripe rust is the rust that usually comes first because it does much better in cooler temperatures. Now, we had some early infections of stripe rust in this variety here. Uh, we also had very heavy uh, aphid infestations in this trial. And you can see the yellowing in the plot that uh, is partly from the stripe rust, but also due to the heavy aphid infestation. On some of the leaves, you may see some shiny spots. Uh, here's a leaf that is actually showing some of the, the stripe rust in, in the typical stripes that you get with this, this disease. Uh, the yellowing itself is due to the aphids and the stripe rust both, and there's quite a bit of that. Uh, shiny spots would be the uh, honeydew produced by the aphids, and of course these aphids can transmit barley yellow dwarfs, so I'm suspecting that about three weeks from now, uh, somewhere in that time frame, there'll be a lot of barley yellow dwarf also showing up in this trial. What kind of conditions have to be present to make it worse some years than others? So you have to have the free moisture either from dews or rain, you have to have the inoculum, and then you have to have the susceptible varieties. And we certainly have the inoculum around the state now. With these windy conditions and warmer, there hasn't been exactly ideal moisture conditions, but uh, we're still early in the spring, and so we could see the stripe rust in particular uh, explode across the state. What kind of treatment options then are there for what you're seeing so far? Well, of course, there's uh, insecticides that you can use for the aphids, and, and many of those should have been used already. Uh, for the foliar diseases, uh, there's fungicides that can be used. But the fungicides, you want to make sure that you put them on early enough, sufficiently early, that you're protecting the yield and the test weight that you have there, because a fungicide cannot bring that back. You have to have it on there before the disease gets very severe on the, on the crops. Okay, Bob, thanks a lot. We'll probably see you again in a few weeks to explain more. And for more information on foliar disease and some of the treatment options available, we have a fact sheet for you at sunup.okstate.edu.